Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Um, my name is Edgar, Edgar, and today I talk to you about the, how PicPay achieve temporary elevated access control for production environments. Um, before uh, uh, we start talking, let me ask something. How many of you have problems with the AWS cloud, cloud account users? with production, with admin access in production environments? Raise your hand, please. Oh, great. So I, I had two <laughs> before uh, we implement this, this, this solution. So I'm from Brazil. I am a cloud security manager at PicPay. Uh, I have been working with technology since 2008 in the last seven years with AWS. Uh, before I, <laughs> I started working with a security, I have a lot of hair, and today I'm this way. So, and when I, I'm not working, I, I enjoy to make some Neapolitan pizza and enjoy my family with my wife and my kittens. It's the, the white one is Pandora, and the other is Athena, like AWS Athena. And, okay, it's my QR code for my LinkedIn if you want. So, but what's PicPay? PicPay is a financial institution uh, in Brazil, was founded to, in 2012 to simplify the financial life of the people. Uh, the first service of PicPay was a, a payment bill and transfer money from, uh, between the users uh, without having fees and instantly, so, uh, using QR code or username. Talking about our story, uh, we are we, we are founded in 2012. In 2010, we released the bill payments uh, service. In 2020, we launched the, our credit card, credit and debt card. So uh, a service like loans and insurance. And 2021, we released the Open Finance. It's a, a, a service for uh, personal accounts in Brazil to banks, each other knows the, your, your situation. And last year, uh, we have been merged with Banco Original. It's a digital bank in Brazil. About the numbers, uh, today we have 36 million of active users in platform. We are presenting 10 million plus establishments like stores and websites, we e-commerce. And we are about 3,600 uh, plus employees. And we have been growing fast in this uh, growing has and our environment has been no different. So today we have three AWS organizations, 2,000 plus uh, AWS cloud users, 200 plus AWS accounts, and about 150 plus daily deployments uh, for for uh, applications. And this growth has, has brought some challenges for us. Like how can we protect our environment of unexpected chains? Uh, how can we reduce our MTTR of our incidents? And how could we identify the, the chains that, uh, that made our, that broke the, the applications? And beyond, beyond it, we have some uh, issues to avoid in the, our environment. Like untracked chains, it's a, a a big problem because when a, a chain were was made in production environment, could uh, bring downtime the application because can change some foundational platform services like network services or security, like route table or disable some WAF feature, and. These things can ex expose our environment to, to a risk. So, and our, our, our role, uh, a cloud security team, uh, 
it's provide guardrails for the developers, focus solely on their development and not worry about the expose the environment of peak pay for for a risk. And think on that with the help of AWS Pro Service team, we decide to implement uh, uh, AWS Team solution. AWS Team is an open project, open source project for provide temporary elevated access management for, for AWS cloud users. Uh, with AWS Team, we can have just time access. We can uh, validate the legit, legitimate need for, for it and grant time-bound access. And the, the, in this diagram, we can see the or organization uh, protected with FCPs for production and non-production environments. And where the, the in production environment, we have more restricted uh, SCPs and in non-production, more flexible. All the access are made using AWS SSO, uh, Federating uh, Active Director, and for long-term permission, we use permission sets for AWS uh, Identity Center. Uh, for and with this this kind of access, the AWS cloud users can change can perform changes in non-production environment. And to, to perform changes in production now, they need to use AWS Gene Access. Um, so with it, we, we can protect our environment of unexpected, unexpected chains because we use these SCPs to protect the, the foundational services and just specific teams can perform chains in foundational platform service like security or network. Okay, to implement this, this process, we need to define some rules for the, the, the flow. So uh, who can request and approve this, this kind of requests? What the maximum session time for, for this, this access? Which actions are valid and not and for elevated permissions? And how can track the chains made for the users? Uh, I think it's the one of the important points. So uh, after I think a couple of days, we define some kinds of rules like uh, just the BU tech team can request access, and the BU managers can approve these requests. So. They are the, the, the gatekeeper of this kind of access for the, their accounts. And if a request is approved, the, the requester obtain access, the temporary credentials for access the, the target account. Uh, talking about the, the, the permissions of AWS team, uh, all the requests have the same permissions. So the, we, we can we can ensure that our users need to make sure to make changes in, in production, use the, the same permissions, and can't change foundational platform service. Uh, the maximum session time is four hours, because uh, uh, we believe it's enough to solve any incident. But if the 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 user need more access, they can they, they need to, to request access again. Uh, and the, all the chains are record, recorded in CloudTrail, and it's make it easy for us to identify the, the changes. In, in this di diagram, uh, we can see the, we use Active Director groups to segregate the requesters, users, and approvers, users. Uh, and these groups are segregated by BUs. 
So here is a, a, a sample for the request flow where, where the BU a tech team request access to BUA account and BU manager can approve or not the request. If approved, the, the, the requester obtain access. If not, uh, the request is finished. And the BUA uh, tech team could request access to BUB account too. And the BUB manager can approve or not his access. And as a result of the implementation, uh, we can highlight, can, now we can track the, the chains easily using AWS Cloud Trail. Uh, we can ensure that the BU heads knows about the chains in, in their environments. Uh, so th this way we can reduce our MTTR time because we can identify and ask for the, the BU heads uh, if they know about the chains. And again, we can protect our foundational platform service because it's a, a big problem when, I, when someone chains a, a route table, for example. So that's what I want to share with you today. Uh, hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, I'd be pleasured in answer. And just one, one, one thing. Uh, don't forget to, to answer the, the survey of the, this, this talk. So thank you.